Is investing in real estate still profitable or has the opportunity passed, especially for the people who still don't own a house or their money is not enough to buy property? What is the best place to invest it in? In order to understand the issue more, we will go back in the history. So when we go back in history, we're going to find that the housing prices always goes up, goes down. So when we go back, we actually like there was pricing of homes, like you could buy a home for 10,000. So I'm talking specifically in Canada, but that happened like when a crisis happens, like a crash or everything, it happens all over the world, not just in Canada and the US, everywhere. So. If we talk like 10 years ago, after 2008, like from 2008 till COVID or even even the drop in COVID wasn't huge. So people were actually buying houses, builders were building houses. So everyone who used to buy, used to just make money easily. Buy a house, you're gonna make money, life is good, your mortgage payments are low because the rates are too low. Like people used to, to refinance, they used to buy houses just because of the cost of borrowing is way too low. So life was good, like no complaint. You literally can buy, you can make money, there's nothing growing, you can not, nothing to complain about easily. Buy a house, people used to buy a house and sell it after a few months, they just make money. It's a fear of missing out, that's what makes people buy and that's what pushed the market to go higher. So used, the people used to buy they are afraid of missing out of an opportunity because it keeps going up. But if you look at the charts, after every drop on 2008, on, on the, the one that happened on 1887, prices tends to go lower of homes when a crisis happens, and after that, they keep going up. And the reason why for a lot of people, investors and even builders are afraid right now in buying houses or selling houses is because of the increasing of the interest rate that happened in 2023 specifically, which made a lot of people going crazy because of the a lot like the decrease of the prices that's happening in real estate. Like for example, I know some people who bought houses in 2022 at the top and in 2023, they almost lost like 100K or 200K in their properties, which I don't blame them why they are afraid of investing more in real estate because what they are struggling and facing right now. But I'm pretty sure all the people, investors specifically, who know and have experience in investing in real estate, they know that real estate market always fluctuates uh, throughout the years. But there's a lot of people saying that the interest rate will decrease this year. And we are hoping this because a lot of people will get their pricing, especially for people who bought in 2022, they will get the price they want or the price they bought it for. Um, and, and also the payment for their mortgage, for everybody's mortgage, especially the people who have a variable rate, will go back to its normal payment. And this is very hard and made a lot of people struggling in 2023. And even now, because of the increase of the interest rate, because the salary is still the same, and a lot of employees or workers are struggling in paying their mortgage payments because the the their mon their income is still the same. It's not increasing, and this is what making life is hard in Canada right now, and even in the U.S. But hopefully, this year is going to be different for all of us, and the interest rate will go down. Hopefully, but of course. That, that will affect the market, not between a day and night, that's gonna take months. We have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers, and if we did that, we're gonna do a huge giveaway, giving away three iPhones. So make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment. Even through these tough times in real estate, we do have, we still have a lot of buyers and sellers who are still investing or buying and selling at the same time here in Windsor all over. So for example, right now we are making a video for one of our buyer clients. He is in different province and we're making a video for him for this property and he's going to take a look at it and decide if he likes it or not. This is going to be an investment property for him. So my point is just there are a lot of people right now who are taking opportunity to buy houses in this market so they can have more negotiation to get a better price. We know a family that bought a house so around like 2010. So they bought a house, you know, like right now that house worth like around the $800,000 mark, but it used to be around 250, 250 to 300,000. So this family, I know they bought it was tough time, but they held into it. They didn't sell 
And there you go. That's your biggest investment. It's really paid off. Just having double or triple the price of your house, that's really perfect. On the other hand, we also know a family that bought a house two years ago when the market was picking up, when it was going so high, they bought at the peak, at the higher inflation, but they could not afford it anymore. So they just gave up, they decided to sell the house, and they sold it for some loss. That's what we don't suggest because housing always go up and it's been proven throughout the history. Like every crisis, every crisis in the history, the housing market recovered. I know some people are really not optimistic that much, but like it's just the fact. So this family have lost money. There are other options that they could have done like renting the basement out or just try to put more pressure on themselves to keep the house. Make sure you don't get discouraged. You don't hear people that are saying the housing will crash and the, how the prices will go back to 10,000 a house. That's never gonna happen because of inflation because like the, the dollar is not packed by by gold, there's a lot of other factors like supply and demand, and a lot of people are coming to Canada, to the US. So this thing is even like all over the world. Like if you look everywhere in the world, most places, real estate keeps going up because there is limited amount of space, limited amount of land, and people keep growing and they keep buying and they keep building. And that's why the prices will keep going up. So make sure you don't be one of the people who get afraid when the prices goes lower and you don't get really greedy when the prices goes higher. There's a saying for Warren Buffett, which is buy when there's fear and don't buy when there's greed. But in this situation, if you want to if you want to invest in real estate, what are the most important, I would say, solutions to invest in real estate? The first would be buying a property, an investment property. And even if the mortgage payment is a little bit high, higher than normal because of the increase in the interest rate, you can buy a house that has two separate units, rent both of them because of the rent right now, it's going crazy. Even rent sometimes is higher than buying a house and paying a mortgage for it. So the rent right now is very high. So if you want to rent both units, it will pay you the mortgage and also make you some cash flow every month. Uh, so the second solution would be buying a land, a vacant land. Of course, the vacant land would always be cheaper than uh, houses all over the world. So you can buy a land after a couple of years, uh, you, you will have some uh, equity in that land. You can sell it and gain some equity from that land. And also the third option you have is to do flips in this market. This is a very great opportunity for so many investors to do flips. And the last option would be if you cannot afford buying any real estate piece, uh, you can buy gold. Depends on your budget, but a gold always, a gold is like real estate, exactly the same. After years, um, the, uh, the gold would get a lot more higher and you can also gain some equity from that gold. The, the most important thing is just don't waste the money that you have right now and try to invest it in, in the right way. And if you have any questions about real estate, either in the US, Michigan, or in Ontario, Canada, our number is gonna be right here. You can give us a call. And also if you wanna watch some house touring in Canada, watch this video next.